It's gotta be Saturday. It's gotta be Saturday, because I'm the executive producer of a major network fucking show. It's called Percy Late Night. Ever heard of it, bitch? No. Oh, don't say that to me. Don't you say that to me. No, your mother was a whore. Your mother was a whore. Okay, I am sorry. I do, I apologize for that one. No, but you said it first. Okay, I gotta go, Ma. The network's about to walk in. I love you too. Okay, bye. <coughs> No, you should be thanking me, Inbred Fred. <laughs> the ratings are the best they've been in months since I started guest hosting for Percy. Oh, will that be all well and good if I gave a cow's anus about the ratings? Really, the show's producer doesn't care about ratings. I misspoke. I misspoke. I do care about the ratings, just like Lord Michaels taught me to. I, however, do not care about you. I don't care that your father owns the company that runs this company. I don't like your company! And listen to me very carefully here. I won't be sucking your cock. You should be sucking my cock. Age before beauty. And never forget this one thing as well. We hired you to host a show when Percy was on vacation. You are the substitute teacher of comedy when it comes to this show. No one likes that stupid face of yours, or your silly mustache, or your ridiculous fart jokes, unless Mr. Rhodes says them on his show. Now please leave! You're taxing me! Okay, how about we let the network... Yeah, they are. Why is Andre in this office? Ah, he was just leaving! Send him in, Tasha. Excuse, Excuse me. me! Let's not keep him waiting. Keep them waiting, go, oh, you fuck! Fucking Janet! Uh, Dustin! Uh, Janet, looking lovely as ever. How's your little Gregory? My boy is a little angel. I don't care what that school counselor, the fire department, or my pastor says. Fuck him! How's the fantasy football, Dustin? Yeah. My running back suspended for some, uh, domestic violence schmilitz. These guys, raised by their mothers and grew up to punch the shit out of their women. Savages. I really don't get into that, but my assistant does. Who's this asshole? Uh, Andre Wells, sir. I'm the head writer on the show. I've been guest hosting for Percy Wells. Cool story, bro. <laughs> ha! I killed the one, Janet! You guys have been doing pretty well. Thank you. I've been trying this I thing. mean, I don't watch the show. I watch the Nielsen ratings. You know, those numbers don't lie. Oh, boy, do we know! We value the Nielsen's rating system here, Dustin! Where is Percy's old ass? Is he not going to be joining us today? Uh, don't worry. Mr. Rhodes had a little bit of a flight delay, uh, but he should be here uh, by showtime tonight. And oh boy, do we got a great well, show plan I'm for you here. Two. Yeah, we can see that, Andre. Thank you. We can go ahead and get started with the meetings now. We just wanted to compliment you on your strong ratings for the week. Hopefully, Percy's plane won't go missing and we can keep it up. <laughs> Excuse me, Janet? Of course I'm joking. No, I know you were joking, I just fought it. Excuse the smell as it wafts over into your nostrils. Our Felix noticed that you finally took note of the live commercials. That made the network very happy. Thank you. Percy hates the idea of live commercials, but I think it's the future. I like to call them my little sketch commercials. <laughs> Will Percy be keeping the sketch segments? Because we had an idea for a sketch segment ourselves. <clears throat> oh. Auntie Fawny's female urinals. Uh, what? Auntie Fawny's female urinals. They're saying it twice in a row doesn't help me understand here, Dustin. What in Josh Peck's pecs is a female urinal? A place for your pussy. <laughs> that is a great slogan. I get it. Oh, uh, like, I get it now, too! Yeah, I know you can't say pussy on the air, but make it work. Pussy. Oh, well, you know that's what we do best here, Dustin. And I can guarantee you this little vacation of Percy's has gotten him uh, refreshed and ready to open up to new ideas and new possibilities. Oh, boy, do we got a great show planned for you two tonight. Very well, that is all we had. Good luck tonight. Okay, wonderful. See you, Dustin. Pussy late night. <laughs> Comedy is easy. <laughs> For you it is! For you it is easy! He's the best! <laughs>
Live commercial. But then, Good morning, live sunshine. I'm not Where doing that. Right? The classic, oh, the Jay Leno style, the Kelly style, the Selma, the Selma, the Selma, the Selma, the Selma. What is he style? doing in here? My office smells like mediocre <laughs> open mics and shitty weed. Were you back there the whole time? Yeah. Yeah. He was just leaving. I mean, I wasn't leaving, but I'll leave now. Don't want to be where I'm not wanted. Good. Get the fuck out. I saw the show, Freddy. I know you did. You're our biggest fan, champ. There's no way I'm cutting into proven segments like late night gay fights and Percy's puns to promote these products. They don't let me do any credit card commercials. They don't let me ask what's in other people's wallets. But they should. I'd like to know too. So why they gotta have the hand all up in my wallet, you know? That's how they got Malcolm X, you know. Wait a second, wait a second here. You're telling me that these bastards got their hand literally inside your wallet, yet they won't even let you look inside of other people's wallets? Exactly, and I'm glad you get it. Man, letting Andre guest host the show, whose fucking idea was that? That was actually your idea, my man. Are you gonna give my wallet back? You know, people just like Andre because he's young and has straight hair and parents. Am I old, Freddy, like Dustin said? Or am I... You know, the other day, I called a Segway a bike. I don't know if I'm ready for the future. Well, you might not be ready for the future, but uh, hopefully you're ready for some pills. Come on, this'll fix your melancholy attitude. Get some pills in you. Thanks, Fred. I've been really feeling my mortality lately. You know, when I first started, all I wanted was to be able to afford the tolls to get to New York. And now, all I want is for two other celebrities to die when I do. That's when you know you've made it. Made what? A conversation program? You know, people will only care about my life until they play that minute and a half video of the Emmys, you know? And what if I don't even get my minute and a half? What if they just lump my face in with all the other celebrities that died that year? Not even celebrities, like the sound design guy and the animals and then they'll use the sneezing pick, and Andre will win the award for the tightest fucking cunt. What's the point? I, I don't want to die on that stage. What? What are you talking about? Of course you want to die on the stage. You're a comedy machine, my man. And listen, the only reason that the sketch marshal worked with Andre is because the network saw him as a puppet, and he attached the strings. Percy Rhodes is no puppet. He's an eagle, a strong American bird. And you can't tie down a strong bird with strings. You can only let him fly and hope to catch him every night at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Everything's always been on his terms, okay? Most children are abandoned by their fathers, not Percy Rhodes. When Percy Rhodes was four years old, he told his father he was going out for candy, and he never came back, baby. He got straight into that candy man's candy van in the Walmart parking lot, and then he went straight to Hollywood, and then straight to the top. So come on, let's retell the negativity. You say negativity? <laughs> Oh, you're joking! Okay, I understand now. That's that classic Percy charm we've been missing around here. This is your family, Percy! Come on! We're, we're closer than blood! You're like a son to me that I've always actually wanted! But seriously, my man, what's with all the negativity? Come on now. Oh, what's the point? You sound like the math teacher I had sex with in junior high school, and he was terrible in the sack! And I mean horrible! Oh my god! Woo! Anyways, money is the point, my man. A people that get paid together, I get laid together, and that's all right. It's so great to have you uh, back from vacation, Percy Rhodes. Oh my God, we missed you so much. The show just wasn't the same without you. Isn't that right, everyone? Wasn't the show terrible without the hysterical Mr. Percy Late Night? Was not terrible. We missed you. The show was good. How was your vacation? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where he at? There he go. There he go. There he go. Move out, bitch. <laughs> my man Percy's up in this. Uh, guys, what is this? I think my psychiatrist would call it a midlife crisis. Oh, what? Uh, no, nah, that's why, son. I just figured this is trying to get with a more younger demographic. I just try to go with the flowski broski, you know what I mean? Uh, do people really talk like this, guys? Nobody in my yard club. No, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh, guys, check this out. Bam! Oh. Oh. You got your nipple pierced, Jake? <laughs> yeah, pimping. Oh my god, it's horrific! Oh, oh man, now they stop acting like a bunch of basic bitches. This is the shoes, Norton. All my homies got one. 
Yo, I was gonna get some face tats too, but my stats was low and my career come first. True life though. Where did you even get that little titty piercing done there, Jake? Yeah. Uh, you know my boy Cordero in the parking lot, he hooked it up. You got major surgery from the guy that works out there in the parking lot, that works at Los Solitos. Yeah. Jake, you act like you had no home training. Didn't your mother teach you any better? Nah, <laughs> All right. it's mom. Don't talk about my mother. Plus, them burritos are gluten-free, y'all. Y'all need to stop stripping. Everything's all sterilized on this side. Sterilized with hot sauce or mild. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on the wrong side. <laughs> what? What? Uh, I think what Andre is trying to say here is when you get a piercing on that side, uh, it means... You uh, frequent clubs with names like Twink Tank. Fred knows what I'm talking about. I have been to Twink Tank. <laughs> You're homosexual and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> well, wonderful. Now I really feel like I'm back. All right, everyone. Um, thank you. You all are appreciated. I hope you feel that way. If the checks you get every week don't make you feel that way. All right, Fred, we can get everyone. Oh, we got a little, what is this, uh, Swedish fish. Swedish fish. A fast-free food. When the fuck did I ever say I like Swedish fish? What a lazy-ass gift. Who are you people? Do you even know me? Do I have we met before? Who did this, Andre? Uh, no, I didn't get you anything. Good. Why don't you try giving me some funny monologue jokes for once? And here, give Jake the sweetest fish and tell him that they're trending. Make sure he's ready to warm up the crowd. I haven't heard anyone complain about the jokes. Do you like my jokes? But, no. like, should've got your ass some chill pills is what I should've done. Am I right, Tosh? Fred, no. will you leave me some of those chill pills, please? Regular, regular pills. Oh, of course! Regular pills coming right up! Uh, they're right on the desk over here. Don't look, though. What do you want? I don't want any... That's bullshit. Why would you sneak into my office unless you wanted something? So before I call security, I'm going to ask you again. What do you want? Think I'm related to you or something? This ain't my first hodeo. Okay, okay. Get it? Like a rodeo with hoes? Yes. Not that you're a hoe, but you could be. Did I uh, get you pregnant at the All-Star game or something? I know this is going to sound crazy, but my older sister, she... Yeah, I didn't ask you your life story, okay? I asked you a simple question. Just tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Remember them, the Spice Girls? Eh, before your time. I want a job. Well, this town is known for its strip clubs. I'm a comedian, asshole, and I want a job here. I got into comedy because of you. My older sister, she practically raised me, and she loved you. She used to sing and do theater. The two of you did a public access show back in Flint. Do you remember Michelle Jackson? Um. Anyway, <laughs> I used to listen to your records and watch your specials. <laughs> I remember sneaking around just so I could listen to your older, racier stuff about capitalism, religion, and sex. <laughs> but um, that was kind of before you uh, went soft and sold your soul. No, but really, like seriously, you're the reason why I got into comedy. I love the realness, the darkness. I've been doing this for six years back home and I got it, Percy, I got it. I have notebooks and notebooks full of jokes and that's just from today's events. I was going to school for a while and everything, but... Um, but what? Nothing, it's, it's boring. No, what were you gonna say? And by the way, I never sold my soul. All right, I never owned a Kia. Percy Late Night, brought to you by Kia Soul. Go on. I was in foster care. When I was 11, my older sister found me and she adopted me. I was going to school and everything while doing comedy and I had just finished my first semester of college and she got into a car accident. She was on her way up to see me during one of the breaks, and <laughs> she was all I had, you know? It was just the two of us for a long time. I had gotten into school on a theater scholarship, and she was like, <laughs> she was the one who kept me sane, you know? <laughs> People always said we were so similar. Now, wouldn't you think I would need to know that, you know, just from a negotiating perspective? It shows weakness. But I'm not weak, Percy. I'm not weak. I'm qualified. 
Like, I may not have the resources that other people have, but I can get them. <laughs> I'm not some damn charity. Who is this charity I keep hearing about? Politicians and celebrities always go on and on, like, this event is for my charity. I need money for my charity. I'm gonna start naming my girlfriend charity in my house, <laughs> in my car, and other assorted bills. <laughs> Fred is the executive producer on the show. Um, I'll talk to him though and try to see what I can do. What was your name again? Felicity. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Rose. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Like I said, I'll do whatever you need on the show. Right. I'm yeah. funny. I yeah, can yeah, write. Yeah, that's just fine. That's fine. That's fine. You'll start off as a PA. Uh, Natasha. Hey, Natasha. This is uh, Felicity. Um, Felicity, Natasha. Will you uh, set her up to be a PA here? Show her around. Percy, I really don't think we have any room for <laughs> Come on, Natasha, she's my cousin. <clears throat> Just, uh, uh, will you go get Fred for me? Okay, okay. I'll go outside there by my desk and I'll be right with you, sweetie. Percy, may I borrow your rear? My rear? Percy, I know you don't let me tell you about your personal life, but I wouldn't feel like I was doing my job right if I didn't tell you that you cannot keep putting girls you want to have sex with on this show's payroll. You still send checks to a Michelle Jackson every month? Of course, Percy. What are you going to oh, do? Oh, you don't have to anymore. She's dead. So that should clear up the payroll problem, right? Will you please go get Fred? These lines are just so old school, you know, blase, blase. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, you're not giving young Jakey a chance to shine, my friend. Jake, you are extremely middle-aged. This little street character you've been doing doesn't speak the language of the sketch I wrote. The joke is that you're a woman. That's it. This isn't dinner theater. You're in a wig and a dress. That's funny. Another one in the books. All right. It's, it's cute. I'll give you that. It's cute. But I don't know about funny. I know you don't. Well, what was that? I know you don't know about funny. You got jokes, son? You trying to play me, my friend? You woofing my partner? Hey, Percy, how's it going? Yeah. How's your uh, titty? You all healed up, Jake? Uh, sometimes my shirt rubs against it and causes some mild bleeding, but otherwise, I am fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, yo, Percy, you sure you're on board with this segment? Uh, sketch. Huh? A sketch commercial. Yeah, 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 nipple blood. <laughs> He said, yeah, it's $100, Jake, cash. No, 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 hold up, that ain't even right. Where, where's Big Freddy at? Uh, I haven't been able to find him all afternoon. Uh, we should probably just go ahead and get started. Okay, great, here's your script, Percy. Uh, you are a stereotypically southern truck driver, and the hooker you picked up has to go to the bathroom. Hmm. Uh, you will, can I get that sound effect? <laughs> Can I hear something a little bit less wet, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, use that one, turn it down a little bit. Let me hear it again. Well, uh, what's funny about this, Andre? <laughs> Everything. Your truck driver, Jake's a hooker in a wig and a dress. There's a line about consent in there somewhere. You know, female jokes for the female urinal demographic. All the pussy's gotta go pee pee. But Jake, isn't a female. Do you get it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all that political stuff you said you wanted, I combined it all. So let's take it from the top. I, and I uh, want to see. I, I really think you should try again, Andre. Ha! Boom goes it out of my bitch, better have my money. Yeah, as much as I hate to agree with Shirley Temple Black here. And besides, Jake has all the good lines and, and, and the dialect stuff, he really does better anyway. He's a better actor. Oh, shucks, man. You won't make a redhead blush. Well, yeah, it's mostly the fart noises that I object to. Fred said it works. Well, Fred's not here, so... Well, then let's run it now and talk later. I don't think you understand how the show works, Andre. If hey, I guys, talk... let's take a quick five here. Fred, we just got here. Five minutes! Jake, Andre, thank you! Fred, where have you been? Well, I'll tell you, but first I want you to know I'm not sure that I can win the fight with the network on this one. They strongly advise that you try the sketch commercial. All right, fine, but where have you been all afternoon? Well, it's quite interesting, actually. I had a hot date, a uh, slash job interview with the hitman. Actually, it was uh, more of a hit woman. I've been reading about this feminism stuff. <laughs> Hilarious! Fred, I want you to gather some intel, not kill anyone. 
Okay, okay, well, the hit woman hasn't been hired yet. Everyone's still alive, if that's what you're concerned about. But after lunch, that's what I did. I gathered some intel the old-fashioned way. I made a few phone calls. I tugged in a few cables. I hit a few lines. I did a few lines. We're not talking about your coke problem, Fred. Well, 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 after that, after the coke really hit me and I felt a rush, I met up, I met up with my old college pal, Dale Cunningham, owes me $350, never brings it up. Anyways, uh, he works for the National Security Agency now, and I found out everything in about 25 minutes. And... You can't fuck the girl. She's too young for you. If she thinks that Danny Glover is a rapper, then that's got to be some sort of a red flag because Donald Glover with the rapping... Fred. Danny Fred. Glover with... Uh, but anyways, the girl is not your cousin. Oh, Christ, I know. If you know, then why would the questioning... Well, I don't know. I never, I never the... claim to know things. I'm just stalling, all right, Fred? I need some time to get my thoughts together, but you want to keep scheduling rehearsals and shit. I know, Felicity. I, I've been keeping tabs on her until, you know, Michelle adopted her. I just... I don't have anything to offer anyone, you know? Not even what the least of them deserve. I just feel shame and guilt. I feel so bad for her, you know? And I've been with some leasty-ass skanks, you know? That is true. I've seen some of your private videotapes that you keep in the safe that you think is always locked inside of your office closet. Michelle Jackson got a yeast allergy. How long have you been in there? What did you hear, Jake? All right, I need to slow down. Y'all asking way too many questions. I only got one mouth, see? All right, now, I've been in here ever since you said take five. This is where I take my fives. You, you take breaks in my office closet. I already answered that question. I'm gonna move on to the other question. I heard everything y'all said except for that last part. Oh, that's it! I'm calling my hit woman! No, uh, no, 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 it's fine. Now, does Michelle got a yeast infection or what? Because, you know, if she does, you know, a player's gotta get his junk checked out, you know what I mean? No, she's just dead. Wait, what? That's not even how yeast infections work, Jake! Wait, what? Yeah, after that show in Flint, Michigan, person let the homie break off a piece. Wait, what? That's right. I was into swinging back in the day. Uh, P. Diddy turned me on to it. All right, well, if it ain't a yeast infection, you fellas mind taking a look-see letting me know what it is? Now yeah, take a look at your cock. Why the hell not? Ah, oh, oh, my God! Ah, oh, smells. Jesus Christ, it looks like a piece of corn in the cow! I remember that he was a virgin back then, you know? I forgot about how good of a friend I am, you know? He's probably concerned because that was his last piece of action, you know? <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't say anything. All right, so if he, if he think, if he thinks that you know, then maybe we have to see if it's mine or his. Seriously? My doctor recommended self exams. Mm. Okay, well, examine yourself away over there, Jake. Now, let me speak to you for a second. It's a very there, pungent please. smell. It too. it smells almost exactly like my ex-wife's uh, big toe on her left foot. Her right one was fine. You guys are not nearly far oh, away oh, oh, oh. talking about. Anyways, man, I admire what you're trying to do here, but yeah. we can't have this girl on the show unless you want to have Maury on as a guest. It's just not conducive to have her around to run the show the way it needs to be run. So come on, write that nice young lady a check or have Natasha do it or whatever. Just keep telling people she's my cousin until we figure it out for sure. Can we please uh, go back downstairs and rehearse the sketch here? Yeah, sure. Wonderful. Uh, Yo, fellas, real quick, before we get into the sketch, you know, I got a quick business proposition for you. Oh, too. God, here we go again. No, I know what you're thinking. My boy Jake, he ain't exactly no Warren Buffett, you know what I mean? But, uh... More like Warren Sapp. <laughs> because you're slightly overweight. Oh, <laughs> yes, I get it. Well, kind of. That slightly was the nicest thing you said about me all day. But no, check it. This lady by my house, she's got a farm and she's selling these horses, right? These horses are dynamite, baby. Check this one out. This one here is called Cream Off the Bottom. Cream Off the Top. Yeah, Jake, uh... I, I don't, I suppose it has some nice legs on it, Jake. Yeah, I don't... yeah she's from Sweden, you know. I think she'd be doing some deep squats, you know, some Pilates, you know, doing really good, strong lunges, get really toned down there, you know what I mean? I was talking about the horse's legs, Jake. Me too. Yeah, Jake, uh, it's gonna be a hard no. Oh, come on, you didn't even let me finish, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. All right, all right, Jake, still go ahead here. Really? Thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna need about 60 stacks. 
I'm gonna give Fred a heart attack. 60 stacks for what, Jake? So I can buy the horse from her, buddy. It's an investment. I go, I buy the horse from her, I play the odds down at the track. I'm just trying to make my money work for me like the Joel Osteen finance book taught me. I'm trending for Hova's sake. Okay, okay, wait a second, wait a second. So you're trying to put your money where her mouth is? Yes. So to speak? <laughs> well, it ain't tricking if you got it, know what I mean? No. I don't know what you mean, and you don't have it. You're asking us for it. Y'all done? Yeah. Y'all done? Yeah, let's just do the sketch. Where's Andre? Oh, he's too busy talking up that new PA. Oh, oh, she's pretty fly herself, you know what I mean? She's real cute. She has some, like, like some strong stallion legs herself, and, like, a Clyde style. Pump like, the thoroughbreds. Stop. What the talking? Oh, you trying to give her the PP? Her. She's too young for you, no, bro? <laughs> I mean, like, stop it! When she was born, you probably, like, had dropped out of school, like, three times already, and were old enough to drop out of school another two more times, and... Did your mother neglect you? Or maybe it was the opposite, and she breastfed you till you were six. <laughs> you know, you just seem so terrified of women. You should be. We know your weakness. We spend our days dealing with your little insecurities. I think it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> you shouldn't try so hard. Uh, how bad do you want to work on this show? You talk a lot, but you never listen. Listen to my body. You know how badly I want it. <laughs> Let my tongue tell you how much I crave you. Well, I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. Ah, uh -huh. are you gonna let me play with the head, writer? No, nah. I'm gonna show you why they call me the head. <laughs> Miss Natasha! Hey, Tosh! What the hell is this? Jokes. Felicity. I, I'm so, so sorry, Natasha. I messed up. It won't happen again. Please don't tell Percy. You know, we were just rehearsing. Uh, and... Cut the bullshit. Get out of the office, Andre. What do you want here, girl? I said I'm sorry. You are. I'm just confused. Are you looking for a job, a man, or just a quick few bucks? I'm not a thief if that's what you're implying. I made a mistake. Who your mama? I'm sorry? It's clear you don't have a daddy. But would your mother like to see you walking around acting like this? What side of Percy's family are you on, anyway? His father's side. Oh, so your last name is Rhodes. No. Anderson? <laughs> I know all the names because I sent the Christmas cards. Uh, my mother's maiden name was Anderson, but she got married again. I'm a second cousin, but she stayed close. She's, she went to all the family reunions and all that. <laughs> What's funny? Uh, nothing. Um, I was just thinking about that movie, Poetic Justice, where they go to the reunion, and <laughs> you, you wouldn't get it. I've been working in this town a long time, little girl. Your story is as old as time. Random kid shows up claiming to be cousin, looking for a handout. I'm not some random... You're not what? I'm not a random kid, okay? If Percy says I'm his cousin, then I'm his cousin. Why would he lie to you? You can give me all the shit you want. I deserve it. But I don't think you understand. Or maybe you do, and that's even worse. Haven't you ever used your body to get what you wanted? Didn't you ever pull that card while you had it? You did, in whatever way you felt necessary. Can you just, for a second, just put yourself in my flats? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but you're, you're being hella hypocritical if you're gonna sit there and act like I'm an immoral person. I'm simply trying to get ahead. <laughs> we celebrate people in this country for doing much, much worse. <laughs> Please, Natasha, can you give me another chance? Haven't you fucked up on your first day before? Don't you curse at me. Look, sweetie, we all got problems, but if you're grown, you should act it. Don't go showing up the first day at work, making out with the first man that you... Did think. it look like we were making out? It looked like something. It looked like you weren't doing your job, and honey, appearance is everything here. What does that even mean? If you jeopardize my job again, 
I'm going to smile and act graciously around the office. But when I see you in the street, I'm fucking you up on sight. Yes, ma'am. Now, come. Let me show you how Percy like you to slice his kiwi. I'm not letting you out of my sight again. Are you guys talking about me? No, I was just giving her a little info about working here. Hmm. It's a weird vibe in here. Now, Tasha, will you go get that kiwi? I'm kind of famous. I'm kind of hungry. Yes. We were just going to do that. No, I actually need to talk to Felicity for a second. Can you just go ahead? Okay. Okay. Percy. Hey, so the job so far is going well. It's okay. Yeah, um, it's it's great. I'm, I'm learning a lot, and yeah. everyone just seems <laughs> so nice. Yeah, um, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't even think I can eat today. <laughs> just... Good, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was mean. Um, why did you hire me? Natasha's gonna keep doing her job, you know. Um, as long as you do yours, you should be fine. Just uh, find a story and stick to it. Consider it your first job as a writer. A writer? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, um, are you seriously considering what I said? I am. Oh my gosh. Do you want to see my notebooks? I just, I, there's just, I love learning like how the show is run. That's dope and everything. But I mean. <laughs> no, you don't have to show me your notebooks. I would uh, show them to Andre. Actually, uh, did you get a chance to uh, meet Andre? Very funny. <laughs> I know that may have seemed whatever, but I was just being job friendly, you know, not like flirty, but just regular friendly. Right, just, right. You know, just yeah. Because I'm sure, you know, you wouldn't, you know, ruin an opportunity, you know, like this on the first day, not for someone like Andre, you know, like oh, I don't really know anything about you or who you are, anything about your genetics or anything like that. But you know, someone like Andre just isn't the ideal person to. Maybe you have daddy issues. Not that I know if you have a dad or any type of issues or a family or anything about you, but you know, I, I, I don't. I would. Are you jealous, Mr. Rhodes? <laughs> no, no. I'm far too old for the house music and the talking like Jake. <laughs> you know I'm more mature than that. Well, that's not hard. Jake has the learning capacity of a fetus. <laughs> well, people always say that I, I seem more older than I am. Well, that line gets a lot of people caught up, you know, paying off student loans and trying Molly. Who's this Molly? You know, whatever happened to good old fashioned Quaaludes? <laughs> I'm not in college, you know. That's, you know what, you're, you're right, you should Show your notebook, you know, but show it to Andre. You know, try to get some jokes on the show. Uh, pro tip, Jake does the same material every week to warm up the crowd. So, uh, maybe start there. And all in all, just do better. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you tell the girl yet? Fred, who said I have to tell her, man? Why can't we just keep her around, you know, in a working capacity, working? Keeping a lie going, okay, takes a certain amount of skill. A skill that I learned when I was six years old and I caught my father cheating on my mother with the cleaning lady. Oh, my father was sloppy and irresponsible. But my mother was no dummy. She used to push and she used to pry and she would interrogate me to sleep every night instead of reading me a bedtime story. Okay, Percy, you're a star, okay? Loaded with talent. Uh, but keeping a lie going involves a certain amount of acting. And you, my man, are not the best actor. <coughs> Wait, what? What I'm trying to say is you are not the best actor. What do you want me to do? Shout it from the rooftops? Keeping a lie going involves this skill, and you can't do it. Every time you try to lie to me, you do this stupid, fake little nervous laugh. Sometimes I think you do it just to fuck with me. And if this girl is anything like her father, uh, anything man, like you... I'm gonna tell her, all right? There's no need to be cruel, okay? Just as soon as we know for sure. That's all I ask. Do you have the DNA sample yet? Yeah. How long is this gonna take? I need to wrap this up by the act. Well, I got the express packet. Oh, I'm gonna settle this $350 with Dale Cunningham. Uh, but we shall see. It could be a few hours, it could be up to 10, 12 hours. I don't know yet, but I'll be back to you on that one. Hey, Fred, uh, uh, can I ask you something before you go? Yes? Um, you know how there's a thing in this industry, you know, like, uh, yes men? Yes, I do know about that. So, like, would you be my yes man? 
No! So I'm, so I'm really not a good actor? Underrated, my man! Underrated! Hollywood doesn't know what to do with the kid! Get out of here, you make me sick. Okay, yes, I will get out of here. Everything okay, Percy? Well, I don't know if you, uh, know this, but I have a bit of a problem confronting people. <laughs> oh, no. I never noticed. Like, I've asked you to ask women out for me before. And I never had a problem with it. Do you need me to do something? Is someone parking in your spot again? Well, actually, um, do you know F uh, Felicity, the PA? She is your daughter. Natasha, how do you know she wasn't parking in my spot? You aren't the greatest actor, Percy. You do a weird little nervous laugh every time you lie. And she is no better. Plus, she couldn't have parked anywhere. I think she rode a bike here. <laughs> you know, she actually, she might be Jake's. <laughs> She has the same stupid little lie laugh that you do, Percy. All right, I do not laugh every time I lie, all right? What is this, a Jim Carrey movie? <laughs> Percy. That's wild. When I had my first child, I used her as a pawn against her father. I can admit I was selfish. I was young. I, I thought he would come back to me. She still resents me for that. But she will have to get over it because I raised her. I was there. I'm her family. Well, that's why, you know, I couldn't be there for Felicity because Michelle used her as a pound against me. No, you never even tried. You've sued auto dealerships before. I said I wanted fresh-ass Dayton's, all right? Not a car fresh out of the Daytona 500. Who would ask for a thing? You couldn't even sue for your daughter in court. Not even out of court. You never made an attempt to connect. Wait, I, I gotta be the one to make an attempt? You know, whatever happened to respect for elders, all right? I don't know how to use an email. I still have a Roadrunner account. Natasha, you, you can't tell anyone, though, all right? I would never, Percy. But you have to tell her, though, for me. I could never, Percy. Natasha! No, Mr. Rolf. I am fine with coming into your office with an emergency when you want to get out of a meeting, filing the dead skin off of your feet, and blackmailing your enemies. But I am your assistant. I am not your mother. There are boundaries. There is just so much I can do in regard to your personal life. Natasha... I can't make you do what is right. But Natasha, you can't tell that I'm trying, right? I mean, we all try, right? I believe in time travel. I believe in heaven. I believe in war. I believe a woman's temple gives her the right to choose, but baby, don't abort. That is a Frank Ocean song, Percy Rhodes. You need to try harder. This is your life. You can't play with it. And you can make a joke of it, sure, but you can't treat it like a joke. You owe her debt. True life, though.
And that's when I learned rule 10,080. Industry people are shady. <laughs> well, that's good to know, but that's not what I asked you. I wanted to know what is your favorite color? Okay, well, that's why I didn't answer you because that's a dumb question. No, it's not. It's how you get to know someone. Uh, what can you get to know about a person based on their color preference? <laughs> tell me yours and I'll tell you. Uh, green. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? Green like money? Uh, sure. Or like grass? I just like the way it looks on me. <laughs> I bet it's more green for money. Green like greedy, excess, the ball of lifestyle. <laughs> You know, you talked about Quaaludes earlier. That's a green drug. No, it wasn't. Okay, well, maybe not physically, but I bet the high was green as fuck. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, what's your favorite color? Um, green. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Cause cash rules everything around me. <laughs> you like old ass music like that, right? <laughs> you really think I'm old? Oh, gosh, no, I was just joking. Comedians are so insecure. You're not insecure? No. You know, that's where the best comedy comes from. You know, just look at Woody Allen. And when you look at Woody Allen, overlook the pedophilia like so many of us do. But now that we were looking for a new writer, I was thinking we would hire someone, you know, with a little bit of edge to them, with some darkness. Well, you know I hate the establishment, and I'm here to take it down from the inside. So the compromise begins. Yeah, I've had to compromise my whole life. It basically means not getting what you want, right? Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> yeah, believe me, I know what the darkness is like. I've seen the pinnacle of carnal behavior in my childhood. It's the type of shit you can't erase. <laughs> but you know what, though? Nothing I've been through, I haven't been able to overcome through comedy. That's like the one thing that saved me. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> you know, a lot of people like to come to open mics and use them as therapy. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> My comedy isn't therapy for me. <laughs> That's just for you, the audience. Because <laughs> y'all got problems. I don't know if you realize that, but you do. <laughs> no, but seriously though, you can't fuck with the truth. And I'm not talking about a truth for our people, but a truth for all people. Just the truth in general, you know? <laughs> you know, Percy, I used to watch interviews with you when you were younger. You talked a lot about the truth. But, you know, even though there's not like a universal truth, we still try to find them as comics. Wait a second. You're a comic. I'm a comic. We're both comics. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, my mind, my mind is racing like my heart right now. Oh my gosh, Percy, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I have this one idea for a sketch, right? Right, okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, um, you know George Washington Carver, you know he was castrated, right? Uh, I did not know that, no. <laughs> That's why he was so obsessed with nuts, <laughs> right? You get, okay, yes. okay, okay, so, not all right. Bad joke. Okay, so, <laughs> this one idea I have for a sketch, right? And it's not like that sketch commercial thing you're gonna do. I'm, I'm not gonna do that, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just not. But but there's one idea, right? Okay, so George Washington Copper. So you're gonna be playing him and he's gonna be talking really, really high pitch, just like this the whole time. And you know, you're gonna be talking like this the whole time. So you get it, you're gonna be talking about your nuts, but you're castrated because your nuts, no nuts, no, you get it, right? You yeah, get it, right? I get it. I but, get it. It's fine, it's fine, yes, relax. Have a seat. But it's you get fine. it, right? It's it. good. Yes, yes. I'm telling you, breathe. my notebooks. Breathe. Breathe. I, I, we have time for that, okay. all right? There's going to be okay. time for all that, okay? okay? I'm here now, all right? <sighs> breathe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Relax. Mm -hmm. Both of our lives are about to change, Felicity, all right? I've, uh, I've, I've actually wanted to talk to you about something. Um, I, did, I did sell my soul. I used to get off on truth and confrontation. And then somewhere along the line, I guess life or circumstances caused me to compromise a part of myself that I thought was important. Now do you know what I think is funny? What? <laughs> when I'm bullshitting someone and they fucking believe me. Oh, wow. And people want to say I can't act. Oh, Percy, I think yeah. you're amazing. Fuck them. <laughs> what? 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 I... Felicity.
Anthony. The person I thought. Go to your office. Go to your office. Damn. Damn it. Uh, Natasha. Yes, Pete. Will you go get Fred for me? Do you need him right now? Yes, please, please. Percy, did you tell her? I don't think she watched the show. Ah, please get Fred. Good morning. <sighs> Trying to quit the pills again, are you? I can't do it anymore, Fred. What? Do you really want to take time off right now to go to rehab? We, we can't do that. I suppose I can send you the one I sent my nephew to. That's not what I mean. I can't do any of this anymore. I can't do the show. I can't do the lies. I can't do the secrets and lies. I can't do liar, liar. I can't do pretty little liars. Okay, well, uh, if you don't listen to the network, you may not have a choice, okay? They want to meet with us today, and I must say that tone was not congratulatory. Oh. I don't want to do this anymore! You sound like my ex-wife, only she was referring to butt stuff. <laughs> what did the network not like? All of the medium stuff? I thought half of the network were Wiccans anyway. It's not about the network, it's what the advertisers wanted. The advertisers! They wanted you to do the urinating uh, pussy with the urinal sketch, with the urine coming out of the vagina right into the portable urinal. What about what I want? Percy, this diva talk that you do from time to time can be endearing, even downright cute. But you can't go talking like a quitter, okay? The advertisers can't hear it, the network, the network can't hear it, and I don't want to hear it, okay? Do you understand? What about what I need? They're giving Andre a show. What about me? Wait, what? Yes, yes, Hunter, chess, chess! Well, fuck him. Uh, Felicity will do. She'll do what? She'll replace Andre. What are you talking about, in your heart? On the show, as a writer. What are you talking about here? It, take some pills! No. <laughs> take some pills! It makes sense, and I'm not taking these anymore, Fred. It clouds my thinking. Are you serious? You think you're thinking clearly now? When we hired Andre for this show, he had eight years of television writing experience with the Ohio-based show titled Ohio... No, she didn't. With the network's foot so far up my ass, I can taste the soul on that penny loafers? You want me to hire some random bitch off the street? You're out of control, Percy! Or are you just mad that I'm not taking these pills anymore, so you lost control of me? What does that even mean, buddy? Don't call me buddy, pal. You've never been my friend, guy. You want to act like your loyalty is to me, home slice, but it's only to the show, bro ham. You want to act like you, you, we're all hunky-dory, compadre, but you're just like every other producer in this town, motherfucker. A better actor than me. Dude. That's a lie! You're a lie. What about all the things I've done for you? Like what? Uh, all the favors I've done for you in your career. Like? Uh, what about, what about the time I asked out that actress you like? What about the time I asked out Helen Mirren for you? That wasn't you, that was Natasha. No. What about the time I covered for you when you ran over Bobby Brown at his own Christmas party? It was a look-alike. And that wasn't you, that was Natasha. Well, I pay Natasha! And the network pays you to deal with me. I'm glad you get it. So why don't you deal with shit, you old dusty banana? Oh, you fucking child! Damn it, Dustin! I forgot about the meeting. Uh, come on in, I suppose. Right to torture. Percy, glad we caught you this time. May we meet? Yeah, uh, Percy. Dustin. All right, nice to see you. Take care. Oh, he's just kidding. Uh, he, he's yanking your leg, you know what I mean? It's an old saying. We all get what I'm trying to get at. Well, we can sit down and have the meetings now. Uh, Janet, how are your children? A booga, booga, booga. Percy, the network couldn't help but notice that you cut the sketch last night. Yeah, there were some uh, wardrobe malfunctions. So I cut the sketch. When we started this show, we were open to the sketch concept, but we made a pact in the beginning that we would only put funny material on the air, okay? And that sketch uh, the, was not up to snuff, so I cut it. Boy, you've got a brand new writing staff ready to please your cocks. You already replaced Andre. Yeah, it wasn't too hard. With who? Um, Felicity Jackson. She's actually was a writer on the show. Um, she wrote a lot of uh, Jake stuff last night. Oh, Jake was phenomenal last night. He went viral with a gif. Jeff. Spiff. Tiff. Tiff. Niff. Niff. Nifty. Right. Yes. Anyways, was that whole segment pre-written? Uh, yeah. 
Um, Felicity had to do it because Andre was being insubordinate and arrogant ever since he started guest hosting. Even the part with the psychic, that was scripted? Yep. That was pretty impressive. If we can make the sketch segments seem that spontaneous, I think we might be on to something. You were just talking about that, right? Fred? That's exactly what we were just talking about, yeah. Okay, great. Andre is actually going to be a guest on the show tonight. So now you book guests for us. Andre is hosting a game show us for next season. This is a good way to get his name out there. And we were hoping that you, Percy, would do the sketch this time with Andre in it. Can Andre even act? We've learned that the viewers don't mind that Percy can't act. It's actually kind of cute. This should probably work for Andre as well. What in the actual... Hey, I think what Mr. Rhodes is trying to say here is uh, that uh, some of these changes you're making uh, seem a little bit heavy-handed. Yeah, exactly. My hands are heavy. Yeah. And? I think what Dustin is trying to say is that if Percy has a problem with these changes, the network would like to remind Mr. Rhodes that his contract expires this year. <gasps> That's Whoa. why we really don't care what you do on the show as long as we get our money's worth with your pointless airtime. What are you trying to say, Dustin? I think he said it. These aren't my words. It's the network's. I mean, we... Uh, how do you do that thing? Love you guys. You know, we think you're a great talent. Uh, uh, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all, Dustin? Don't we all? Okay. Thank you two guys for stopping by. Uh, I think that'll be good for today, though. I should just quit and go back to Detroit. What? What are you talking about? It's went to bed for you in here. Went to bat? Andre's on the show, I gotta do the fucking sketch commercial, and my daughter kissed me. If you call that going to bat, you suck at baseball. Okay, Percy, usually before a big show, I try to boost... Wait a second, who kissed you? I'm quitting this job. I got a position for a news station. A news station? <laughs> if, if you're gonna lie to the American people, why not do it here on the show with me? There's more jokes. Natasha, tell me you're kidding. If I were a comedian, I would not have been your assistant this long. I would not have kept my head down and my mouth shut while you fuck up your life and ruin your soul. Who said I had a soul? Oh, you think that's so cute? You think having this girl on your show is going to help your career? Deep down, I know you do. Percy, being in this town has taught me a lot about compromise. Too much. There is evil in this area. Every city has a different energy. In, in Washington, D.C., everyone wants to be accurate. Everyone is trying to get from the top of the escalator and trying to enter the metro doors before they close. In L.A., Everyone wants to be the talk of the town, to live on the house on the hill and be invited to the best parties. Whatever the best is to whatever shallow person you are talking to. I am a child of God. I have more outgoing calls to you than to my own mother. My own family, that is not right. And every day I try to convince myself it is because I believe one day you will wake up. One day you will answer the question that I ask myself. What else is there? You have the power to change the world, Percy. And when I first started working here, I thought you wanted to. Now I can hardly stand to look at you. And I know you can hardly stand to look at yourself because you had me remove all the mirrors from the office. Natasha, you have to know that I'm trying. No. It is just words. All you do is talk. All you do is joke and clown and goon and spoon. I love to spoon. Here is my two weeks notice. This show won't last two weeks. Good. Then maybe you will decide to do something else. Funny, funny, funny! Yeah! All right, we've got some 
good stuff here. I think we're as good as a weed sketch can get. I mean, this is late night, right? It's true. <laughs> yeah. But let's try to have fun with it. Of course. All right. Naturally. Showbiz is 90% work and only 10% play. You only have fun when you win, <laughs> and then you still hate yourself. You know, that is the most real you've been. You should have used that edge on the show, but oh, <laughs> maybe that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not an open mic comic slash writer anymore. I got my own show. <laughs> Dude, a game show. Way cool. <laughs> Seriously. You know, your jokes are so outdated, they only appeal to, like, the 50-year-old housewife demographic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. There is so much sexual tension in this room right now. I think you guys better bounce, Jimmy Skeeter, you little traitors. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 you guys stay, please. <laughs> but you know what? It's actually time for rehearsal. Um, you guys should go, but not because of any tension, especially that of a sexual nature. <laughs> but let's keep punching up those lines, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Sexual tension. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Here's the script. Thanks. You know I'm a guest on the show tonight. <laughs> yeah, I work here. And I'm in the sketch. Yeah, they told me. <laughs> Do you even know how to act? I'm a natural toots. Toots? I still don't think women are funny, but I guess they can write. I mean, like, I like Maya Angelou, Lauren Hill, J.K. Rowling. <sighs> Wait, where am I? <laughs> You're in the studio. Hello. In the script, smartass. Why didn't you put me in there? <laughs> Do you even know how to act? Have you ever even had an acting class? You didn't give me any lines. Yes, I did. Dude, you're in here. God. You're way in here. Look. Cop number two. Tia. And I don't have a line. Yes, you do. You have, like, the best bit. You have the button of the whole show. Farting. <laughs> yeah, because I know that's your signature. <laughs> okay. You think just because of nepotism you can have whatever you want? What are you talking about? My dad is way more important than your dad. You don't even know my dad. Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't even know my dad. You work for him. What? And I used to. Whatever. Let's just get to work, okay, please? Look, you know it's true. I know you're not stupid, Felicity. <laughs> Why else would you be head writer in record time? Because <laughs> I'm nice it's like that. It's not because of your jokes. Look, I had eight years of writing experience under my belt before I got this show. He is your father. He doesn't want to tell you because he's a pussy. But I'm a step ahead. Felicity, if we get together, we can run this town. With my dad's connections, your dad's publishing rights, we can achieve wealth. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Not like bullshit, perishable rapper riches, but like Warren Buffett level wealth, family crest shit, an empire. Dude, you don't even speak in my language. It's, it's, Dude, I don't even have a family, okay? Just stop it. Let's start one, Felicity. Oh, God. You know what? Oh, oh hell no. Come on. You don't want to... Let me play with the head right. You know what? It's not it's interested over. now that I can't get you a job. It's over. Can't... Hello? I don't even know if that's even a real thing. Get it? Yo, Fred. The 485. I'm going to do Andre. I'm sure what that is. This is not what we talked about. I didn't talk to you. I talked to Janet and Dustin. So did I, and I'll talk to them again if you don't tell this bitch to put me in the sketch like my agent said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not utilizing the talent on the show. Jake has more lines than I do. Jake! Settle, settle down! Settle down! Don't even think about hitting okay. this man. Just... You'll know he'll sue. He's more Jewish than I am. But Andre, let me talk to the writing staff for you and see if we can figure this whole thing out. Writing staff! Yes. <laughs> Is it at all possible to get some more lines in the sketch for Andre over here. I would uh, consider it a personal favor to myself if you could do that. Mm, no. Well, Andre, I really fought hard for you. I yeah, truly did, yeah. but we all agreed really? the sketch would be better if you weren't it at all. But I tried. You can't do this, Fred. I'll walk. No, oh, no, leave. don't do that. You know, she's such a scumbag. But you know, Percy, thanks for having my back and everybody. Thank no you. problem. 
Of course you're included, all right? We, we bust each other's balls because we're bored and we hate ourselves. But, but we love you, man. You're definitely one of us, all right? Without a doubt, Jake, uh, we truly love you. But uh, you know what, Percy? While there's so many emotions flowing here, is there anyone else you'd like to appreciate? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, maybe someone uh, who got rid of Andre just now, perhaps someone who took care of the network earlier. I don't know, maybe someone named me? Oh, uh, Fred, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry I, I questioned you earlier, your, your loyalty earlier. It won't happen again. Okay, things happen, things happen, but I truly appreciate that. But while we're still on this emotional roller coaster ride here, is there anything else you'd like to uh, get off your chest, uh, Jess? Uh, sure. Uh, Felicity? Um, I'm not really your cousin. <laughs> What? I'm so surprised. <laughs> You're an awful liar. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that it, uh, Percy? Felicity, um, I am your... <laughs> oh, wow. Um, actually, we're not gonna need that sound anymore. Um, we're not gonna end on the cop scene anymore. I'm sorry, Percy, you were saying? I am a big fan. I'm a fan of this get. Uh, oh, I think we should go ahead and run it. Wait! Before we do anything, I have some horrific news. Oh. That fart sound we just heard was no sound effect. It came from the back of my trousers. Oh, Fred. I'm gonna need some new slacks. Oh. No one look at me. Oh. Hey, Pete, you got a minute? No. <laughs> I'll just take a second, then. You know, I just wanted to see what was popping on this side of 10th Street, G, you know, homie. All right, Jake, if you're gonna talk, if we're gonna have this conversation, can we have it, like, normal? Will you not do that act? Why didn't you get me to be your guest host? Jake, <laughs> Jake, that's not even a decision I made. Fuck you, Percy, I know it was. I heard you say it to Fred when I was hiding in your closet. You're a slick son of a bitch, you know that? Man, when I, when I did stand up, you used to follow my nuts after my sets all the time, tell me how much you love my character work. I do. When we had our two-man show, you say all the time how you wish that we just had a studio audience and we could take our show on the road forever. Fuck you, man. Why would you say that? Why would you lie to me like that when you knew what you wanted this whole time was your own show with your own name on it so you could get your own horse and suck your own cock? Um, Jake, you're right. All right, we haven't used you on the show to your fullest potential, and for that, I'm sorry. But I also have not been a great friend. Um, it's easier for me to just be an asshole than to just, you know, deal with someone just leaving me on their own. P, one time you told me that we was family. Uh, the thing about family is family sticks by each other, no matter how shitty one member of the family might be. Because, you know, they gotta still run into each other at funerals and stuff, and otherwise it'd be awkward. Right, right. One time my mom taught me that um, sometimes the people that are the hardest to love, they're just the ones that need it the most. Oh, also the horse lost. What horse? Oh, so I took some money out of my kid's child support, went down to the track, bought the horse, and it was doing great, you know, cream off the top, so it right up to the finish line, and that leg snaps. What sound did it make? It, that's the sound of a leg breaking? It was like a snap. Crackle and a pop all at once. It just, it just broke his leg. Legs, Percy. So they definitely. Yeah, oh yeah. They shot it? Gonna... Oh yeah, no, yeah. In front of everyone. Kids too. What sound did that make? It's a weird gun. Made the same sound as the leg snapping. Well, uh, I guess that's a sign, right? You know, we shouldn't be gambling and horse racing is for white people in Tennessee. <laughs> you okay? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking about being a white person in Tennessee. Me too. Let's have fun out there, Jake. Yeah? Yeah, you know, like we used to. <laughs> All right, Percy, for sure. I like that. P and J. P and J. Yeah. Jake and Percy, you know? Oh. You could have said that when we started the show, but all right. Back and have more with my blood. Uh, this is Percy Late Night, baby, don't leave me. 